Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new or an oldie, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Sassy and I do a whole bunch of makeup videos here on my YouTube channel from drugstore, high end, everything you need about beauty, it's here, honey, okay? So make sure to subscribe, thumbs up. If you guys are interested in that, please keep on watching and let's get right into it. So you guys, today I'm actually going to my first kind of like event for New York Fashion Week, which I'm super, super excited. I'm doing my makeup right now, which I'm in a rush because I'm supposed to leave at 10. 30 because it takes me so long to get to the city I'm, I'm in new jersey and i have to go to new york so it's a it's a wild ride i kind of did the feathery brows the soap brows because it's just my favorite i did it off camera because it's a little bit faster and i'm actually going to be using this aviva tackle palette by glam white and it's literally you guys this shape of a tackle which i absolutely love it's super super fucking cute so i'm gonna start and i think i'm gonna be using the green shades just because they look so freaking bomb and of course is fashion week we have to do something pretty pretty um again you guys i'm gonna be leaving everything on the description down below in case you guys are interested make sure to check that out because everything will be linked there check that out honey by the way the shade on this palette are um named after ingredients that you will use for tackle which is freaking amazing in my opinion so there is that i'm also gonna go ahead and start with the shade guacamole on my crease i'm just gonna do a round kind of similar to what i did to my last video because it's just a easy halo effect it's super easy to create you guys and it just i think it looks great on my eyes to be honest i really really like it also my loves if you have a recommendation on a mic i need a new mic i don't know if you guys could hear it but obviously i edit my own videos and i can hear this hussing sound that i freaking it freaking annoys me so much and i just need a new mic if you guys have any recommendation for all my influencers creator friends here please let me know because i need a new mic and you guys, I'm taking a yellow shade from a different palette just because this palette doesn't carry a yellow, which it would have been nice. Something like lighter than this green just to kind of blend those two like that. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of this yellow from the new palette, Juvia's, which I'm gonna show you guys on my next tutorial. Make sure you guys let me know in the comments if you're interested on that, if you're excited to see that um, reveal. So I'm just adding it to the outers, as you can see it here, like far out of the eye. By the way, I don't know what I'm gonna do with my hair today, so I'll show you guys. I'm also gonna show you my outfit and all that good stuff, so make sure you guys stay around. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade lime which is just a little darker and I'm gonna add it to the outer and inner corners of the eyes as you can see like so just to add a little bit more dimension a little bit more darkness which I think I'm gonna go a little darker than this because this is a little too bright still and I'm also bringing this shade all the way up to the crease as well the shade carne asada which is just a darker brown i'm hoping this doesn't turn into like a very ugly look oh it could go very wrong green and brown I'm going back to that green shade just to make sure everything looks blended I don't know these look all over the place you guys but i don't even care because i feel like i need to finish hurry up because i gotta go <laughs> and of course you guys i'm gonna go ahead and cut the crease i need to fix this because it's looking a little bit funky so i'm gonna go ahead and cut the crease and now i'm just adding the same colors you guys onto the look guacamole lime and then i'm gonna add the lightest shade on the palette which is called onions i think that's so cute <laughs> And I'm just gonna add it all right on the top right here. Anywhere. I've mentioned this before. Guys, I'm just adding a little tiny bit of that carne asada brown shade on the outer corners. I don't know. Let's see where this goes. Okay, you guys, I'm pretty much gonna leave it here because if I keep going, I'm gonna be late. I, I barely have. Oh my god, I need to get ready. I need to finish all this shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. So, you guys, I'm just gonna quickly oh quickly gonna go ahead and prime my face almost done and i'm using the becca first light priming fill primer um it's so good it's my favorite you guys i also got some lashes from house of lashes which i was freaking like shocked i think i'm gonna use these ones these are siren siren double so i'm gonna 
gonna start with a dark sh green shade on the lower lash very close you guys know I like to smoke this out regardless so that's exactly what we're gonna be doing and now just blend everything in with that light guacamole shade which is the lightest green Okay, you guys, so I just went ahead and finished up my face basically. I apply the ABH Luminous Foundation, which I really, really like. Um, some bronzer, Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, which I have found that works for me best underneath the foundation, not on top of the foundation. Uh, when I used to apply it on top of the foundation, it would just like crease and it looks really weird. But now that I've been applying it underneath, it works really good. I'm also going to go ahead and use the Banana Setting Powder by ABH. I'm going to go ahead and set underneath my foundation, underneath my eyes, around my nose. Because it does get super like oily, especially when I'm wearing glasses, you guys. It just like slides off. Going to add a little bit of this NARS Laguna bronzer. <laughs> And a little bit of blush. I'm using Benefit Gold Rush, my favorite. Okay, you guys, so I'm pretty much done with my makeup. I'm gonna have to go ahead and now leave my lips like this because I have to eat before I go and I have to get dressed and I have to do my nails, which I, let me show you. So these Salon Perfect sent me these nails. Um, I have a bunch of like different styles and I'm super excited. I'm gonna be putting these on. So let me show you guys in a bit. guys so pretty much i am done i am gonna go ahead and like rush right now because it is 10 o'clock and i have to leave like at 10 30 so ooh, ooh, peace i'll show you my outfit in a little bit and yeah okay you guys are pretty much ready and late but this is the nails that i'm wearing today super cute these are by small nails again Comenzaré con la paleta Glam Light Viva Taco, o sea, me encanta el nombre. Y estaré usando y estoy utilizando la sombra que se llama Guacamole. Todos los nombres de esta paleta son de ingredientes eh, que usa para hacer eh, tacos. Y en realidad es una de las es una de mis comidas favoritas si les si mentirle chicas es una de mis comidas favoritas y ahora mis amores estoy cogiendo un colorcito así amarillo no es de la paleta esta es de otra paleta que le estaré enseñando salió nueva es de lluvias place me encantan las sombras de ello eh, y la estoy utilizando para difuminar estos colores necesitaba algo como más clarito que la paleta de taco no tiene desafortunadamente no tiene una, un colorcito más clarito que hubiera sido conveniente si hubiera traído algo más claro que este verde que tiene y ahora estaré agregando la sombra que se llama lime limón y le estaré agregando aquí en los laditos en la parte interior y exterior del lomo Estoy cogiendo la sombra que se llama carne asada, que es un poquito oscura. Y no sé cómo se va a ver esto. Mezclando verde con esta con marrón así. No, no sé, pero ahí vamos. Y ahora mis amores, usando la misma sombra que usé en el párpado. La sombra es verdecita, me la apliqué en el ojo para como para sellar el, el cut crease que le hice, el corte de párpado y también estoy utilizando la sombra más clarita de, de la paleta que se llama onions, o sea cebolla y mis amores también estoy utilizando un poquito de la sombra carne asada en la exterior y el interior del ojo la sombra que se llama limón que es el color verde más oscuro de la paleta 